Oh my gosh, I'm so hot right now. Ah! It's Kristen here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about all of the books I read in the month of July. I read four books. Um, two were audiobooks and this is my favorite part of it all. Three were five star books and one was a three star book. So I think July was a really good reading month. So let's just jump into this. The first book I read in the month of July was The Lies of Locke Lamore by Scott Lynch. I've already done a review on this, so I will link that down below and put it up in the cards here. And this is book one in the Just 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 this is book one in the Gentleman Bastard sequence. I gave this book five out of five stars. It was really good. It's an adult fantasy novel, but it's not super fantasy. It has very small aspects of fantasy. This book follows our main character, Locke Lamora, and he is a thief, and he is part of a thieving crew called the Gentleman Bastards. Basically, they are about to pull off this really uh, well-planned out scam, and uh, things go wrong. It is very character driven. I love the main character, Locke Lamora. I love the twists and turns of the story. Um, I like that the main characters were kind of imperfect in the sense that they were thieves. If you like thieving, you like heist, you like plans and all that, you will really enjoy the series. I never mentioned in my book review, but I'll mention it now. This book does have some swearing in it and some gory stuff. So if you don't want to read adult fiction because you don't want the swearing, uh, the gory stuff, and just some immature content, immature, no, sorry, mature content. <laughs> if you don't want to read mature content, then I wouldn't suggest picking this up. This is an adult fantasy series. Um, so it does have that in it, but other than that, it was really, really good book. Five out of five stars. The next book I read in the month of July was The Undomestic Goddess by Sophie S Sophie Kinsella. Ugh! Sophie Kinsella. I gave this book five out of five stars. This is an adult kind of contemporary romance. It is honestly chick lit. It was so fun to listen to. It was my first ever Sophie Kinsella book and I really, really enjoyed her writing. I thought she was so witty. Her humor was totally up my alley. I laughed out loud multiple times while listening. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, we follow the main character, which I can't even remember her name. That's, that's bad, that's really bad. And in the beginning of the book, she is a lawyer and she is a really good lawyer. Her life is basically her job. That's all it consists of. One day a mistake occurs and she can handle the pressure, so she leaves and she ends up getting hired through a series of events as a cleaner or as a maid for this couple. Book follows her trying to figure all of that out and it was absolutely hilarious. That's why I gave this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was really hilarious. I love the characters. The only reason it didn't make it a 5 star read for me was that I felt like it was insta-love. Um, I did not feel like there was much development at all with the love interest. I know it's chick lit. Um, but I still felt like it lacked that. I felt like it was insta-love and it was just put in there because it's a chick lit book. And I would have liked a little bit more development between those two characters. So that's why it's 4.5 out of 5. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. Thought it was hilarious. And I really want to pick up more Sophie Kinsella books now. The next book I read in the month of July was, drum roll, ah, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. Ever since I discovered booktube, this was on my TBR, right at the top of it. And I just never felt like it was the right time to pick it up. And this year I picked it up and I'm so glad I finally read it. This is a historical fiction set in World War II. I gave this book, which I should mention, five out of five stars. Of course, it was really good. The writing was all capital letters, beautiful. I loved it so much. Two things I really, really enjoyed about this book was one, we were reading a World War II story, but it was from the German side. We often hear about other sides of the story and you kind of hate on the Germans, which they weren't the best, but I really liked hearing a German side of the story and the innocent lives that were lost in Germany. I thought that was a really, really important kind of story and angle to take on World War II. And then the second thing, which I've already said now, is the beautiful writing. It's incredible writing. He was so descriptive without being overly descriptive. He added just the right amount of detail 
there was so much development in the characters, so many different characters in the relationships and um, how the story progressed. It was not super action packed. The writing was really alive for me and I loved, I loved this book. Five to five stars. Uh, I have not cried in a very long time while reading a book and guess what? I cried twice while reading this book. I am so glad I read this book this month. And then the last book I read in the month of July was We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I listened to this one as an audiobook through my library and I gave this one three out of five stars. To be honest, I was gonna give it two out of five stars, but the ending was pretty good. I'll give it that. That's what everyone said that they could never guess the ending and I will say the ending was really good. This book follows uh, four main characters. Actually, no, it follows one main character and she's a group of four kind of cousins and friends called the liars and basically they are kind of rich kids who the story takes place on an island in you know a mansion something has happened to the main character cadence and she can't remember what happened um, and amongst all of that there is tons of family drama that pretty much describes the whole book it's just drama 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 big plot twist ending. I got really lost in the story. I didn't know what, who didn't like who and why was there drama. And then I was trying to remember characters' names. Maybe because it was narrated by one person, she couldn't do really well with different voices. So I was kind of getting lost with whose voice was who. So I thought it wasn't as good as I was expecting. I did like the ending. Like I said, that bumped it up a star. It was a quick listen for me. I think it was like six hours maybe. So that was nice. I can kind of, I shoved that right in the end of July, which kind of finished it in August, but let's move on. So that is all of the books I read in the month of July. At the beginning of the video, I said three five-star books, which on Goodreads, they're rated as five stars, but one was a 4.5. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to chat about any of the books I read this month, uh, comment down below. Let's have a conversation. Give this video a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!